Hello, this is Brad Gardner with Hometown Restoration, Restore My Hometown. One of the things I want to talk to you about today was the five things to know when hiring a contractor. A lot of people don't know how to hire a contractor, how to get into screening who's real, who's not. And in today's world, it's so easy to confuse yourself with someone that may be a fraudulent guy. So one of the first things that we want to look for is a license. When you get a license as a contractor, the state that you're in, the municipality that you're in, municipality that you're in is going to verify that that contractor knows what they're doing. They have to take continuing education classes. They have to be in, you know, in good standing with the tax records with the state. Um, another thing they do is they're going to check for your insurance and make sure that that's an insured contractor. So that's probably the first step that would solve most of these steps is if you would just check and make sure that a contractor has a license. But if we want to take it a little bit further, we can get into looking to see if they have insurance. Um, right about here, I'm going to show my insurance and what my insurance policy looks like. And with that, you can see an example of what your contractor's license and insurance should look like. Um, next thing we'll look for is a bond reason why a bond's important is if for some reason um, the contractor comes out and uh, delivers material on a job and uh, the, the job gets messed up, uh, you can actually file on that contractor's bond on the materials and on the job to have that job done right. So that's different from liability insurance where if, if they come out and they damaged something or, or ran into the house with a truck. This is job specific insurance. So you definitely want to make sure that your job is insured. The next thing you want to look for is obviously references. Everybody knows somebody that has had the story of this contractor came out to my house and screwed my house up. But in today's world, people are really reluctant to go public with that kind of information. Make sure that your contractor could provide you with plenty of references of good work that they've done in the past. We all want to give good people a chance, but we don't want people experimenting on our homes. You want to hire somebody that knows what they're doing, and you want other people to tell you that they know what they're doing. Check their online references. Check the Google reviews and Facebook reviews. Check ours if you're looking at us. Anytime you're hiring a contractor, be sure to check their references. And last but not least, you want to look at the compatibility of that contractor to you as a person. You want to do something, you want to do business with a, a contractor that you enjoy talking to, that you feel like is someone that you can talk to and they understand you. Uh, they understand what your issues are, what's important to you about a job. A lot of the top four things are, are very easy to come across, but a lot of times, the, the, the real issues that arise with homeowners and contractors is they don't know how to communicate. Um, you want to do business with someone that you can communicate with. A lot of times these jobs take months from hello to completion. You want to make sure that you can be with that person and contact that person and they understand everything you're saying over that course of time. For more tips like this, please like, comment, share all that good stuff. If you want more information or more content that you have questions about, be sure to include that in the comments. If you want us to come out and give you a free inspection and a free estimate, feel free to click the link in the description. That'll redirect you to one of my pages where you'll go in and put your information and one of my project managers will be there to speak to you. Thank you again. Have a good day.